Hi and welcome to a guitar lesson for a very classy bossa nova song which is the girl from Ipanema. Before we're going to start it is very important that you get a very good feeling for the bossa nova rhythm. So I'm showing this I'm showing you this with the first chord of the song which is an F major 7. What is also important, I did it wrong now, only play the strings that you actually need. Don't play all of them, right? So what you would do, you place your thumb, the uh, E string, and then you have your other fingers around here somewhere, at least for this chord. Listen. So that's a rhythm that you want to have afterwards. How do we play that? We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, I'm going to play the rhythm once again, very slowly, and carefully watch what my thumb and those three fingers are doing. So as, you, as you've probably realized, sometimes my thumb is playing the E string alone, without those three fingers playing those three th strings. Uh, in the total, you need to play those strings nine times before uh, the progression is finished for once. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's nine times. All right. So as you can see, the thumb is always used after playing all of them together three times. That's very important. That's the first thing you need to practice. And of course it makes more sense to also practice this rhythm at the same time as practicing the chords. So as I already told you, as you probably remember, the first chord is an F major 7. How to play the chords will be shown here. It's very important the number 1 stands for the index finger, number 2 stands for the middle finger, number 3 stands for the ring finger, and number 4 stands for the little finger. All right? The thumb doesn't have a number because normally nobody uses it to play any songs, except for Jimi Hendrix and so on and so forth. Some great geniuses, but normally we don't. We regular guitarists, we don't use the thumb for uh, playing any strings, only for the right hand. Okay? So the first one is an F major 7 again. The second one is a G7. For this chord you only need three fingers. But the rhythm stays the same. Alright. So those two, once again. Minus seven. But this time you only play the chord half time. So in comparison to the first two chords, you play them for the same amount of time. All right, that was maybe a bit too much now. <clears throat> but as you've seen, I don't play the G minor 7 that long as the F major 7, for instance, or the G7. And the fourth chord I was playing here was almost the same as the G7, but you just slide it down, alright? It's a, a G flat 7, alright? So this, this is G7, G7. be the G flat 7. <coughs> so once again, all of them together. And F major 7 again. And at the very end, you slide to an F sharp major 7. Alright, so once again in total, I played very slowly and the chords will be shown up here.
okay, to give you proof that what I'm doing here is also the right chords, I'm also going to sing along to me playing this song now. Uh, I'm already apologizing in advance because I know that when I sing to a song while I play guitar at the same time, I'm usually not able to maintain a very good rhythm. So sorry for that. Okay, that was the easier part. Yes, what we just did was in fact the easier part. We now get to the more difficult one, to the bridge or chorus or whatever you want to call it. To me it sounds more like a bridge. Anyways, we stop with the And now we get back to this F uh, sharp major 7 chord again. That was basically the entire song. Now we're going to have a closer look at what I was just playing, and if you're able to play that as well, then you're basically able to play the entire song. Way to go! Let's do it! Okay, as I already said, the first chord of this part is an F uh, sharp major 7. It's the same as an F major 7, just a thread higher. The good thing is you just need to slide from one part to another. Okay, the next song is, uh, sorry, the next chord is a B9. It's also rather easy to play. It's almost uh, every string at the same thread except for the one you play with your index finger. Next we get to an F flat major, sorry, F sharp major, uh, oh, once again, F sh um, sharp minor 7. Here we go, F sharp minor 7. Alright, so once again. pattern as for the B9, just around here. So you have your middle finger on the 5th fret of the A string. That's the A string by the way. G minor 7 chord. So it's almost the same as the F sharp minor 7 chord, but just the thread higher. Just need to slide upwards again. And now we have an E flat 9 chord. So it's basically only one thread higher than the D9. So that was the D9. And here we have the E flat 9. 
So once again, G minus 7. Oops. Okay. Those six chords, once again, very slowly. step left. So as you can see there's a lot of repetition going on with the 9 chords. B9, uh, D9 and E flat 9. All right. And also here we have a lot of repetition for the F sharp minor 7 and the G minor 7. The only, so basically we only have two patterns, two new patterns here with the um, F sharp major 7 pattern we already know from the F major 7. Alright, practice those now. Okay, so now we only have two, no sorry, four chords left to learn. The good thing is, the two of them, you already know the pattern. And they basically share the same pattern. So we stopped here. Um, what was it? Right. That was the uh, the E flat 9 chord. And the next chord is going to be an A minor 7. Alright? And you uh, have to place your index finger on the 5th fret of the G, uh, sorry, of the E string. Right? They basically already know the pattern for this chord. Okay, the next song, uh, sorry, the next chord is probably the most difficult one, or I mean the most uh, extravagant one. We haven't learned this one so far. It's a D7 B5, right? Again, you'll see an image for, for pattern, so you don't need to focus on my fingers here. But that's what it's supposed to sound like. It's a second. Minor seven. It's the same pattern for the, as for the A minor seven. Just, just two threads down. And now, at the end, a C seven. And that's basically it. So then we get back to the verse. Okay. So once again. That's all of the chords you need to know for the girl from Ipanema. Tall and tall and young and lovely, the girl 